uh, as India in those conditions, nor do we have anyone who bowled as well as uh, Jasu Patel. He bowled uh, as one would expect uh, an off-spinner of test match quality to bowl. I don't think Jasu was one of the great off-spinners of all time, but he was certainly a good enough bowler for us on that pitch. He was too good for us. And uh, he did exactly the job he was required to do and did it very well. You couldn't have asked for more. McDonald and Stevens did start uh, on a very promising note. Uh, I started with Frizenath and myself. Well, I bowled a couple of tight overs, but that's about all. I didn't really make any uh, effect on the batman. So I brought, brought on Jasu Patel, who initially did not really bowl a perfect line. But uh, you know, once he got into the groove, uh, he was supported by Pauli Umigarai, put on Pauli at the other end. And uh, he started to pitch a nice length. He beat the batsman a couple of times. And that's how, when he started striking, he really struck well. He was uh, turning, but I wouldn't say that much. Uh, the ball was not coming onto the bat. The ball was keeping a little low. And uh, he was, uh, Jasu Patel, uh, it's got a, a slightly uh, defect uh, in his wrist. He bowls more with the elbow and uh, not with the wrist as such. It wasn't quite perfect. The Australians were sort of, uh, you know, getting confused with the straight one and the one that uh, was coming away, uh, coming into the batsman. And uh, they were playing back to be on the safe side and getting beat in the bargain, either getting bowled or LBW. If there was any form of panic or nerves about it, it was induced by the excellent bowling from Jasu Patel. And, and I also remember, a long time ago though it was, that the Indian fielding was quite brilliant. So I think those two things combined uh, add up to far more than, uh, than any panic that might detract from the merit of uh, Jasu Patel's performance. He was, he was terrific in that game. And luckily for us,